So we're doing a bit of a test today. We got we got these. Let's see these these smart swab uh, stuff. And it's one of these little ear gadgets that you know it's supposed to help with uh, taking all the gunk out of your ears. So uh, I wanted to put them up against what they're trying to replace, which is the Q-tip, right? So you can buy like a bajillion of these for a couple bucks, um, and. You know this this isn't expensive by any means but the big concern was of course they're, they're talking about how these can be a little bit damaging now I've used these since I was a small small kid uh, because there wasn't anything like this and my ears are fine um, don't cram them into your brain right don't be like hey look 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 how far I can get get this in don't do that right you know it's designed to do this so the real question is is this better than this so, just so you know, when you buy this, this is what I got with mine, um, <clears throat> and I bought it off of Amazon, and, and this is what it came in, a little package like this, Smart Swab, and it comes with, of course, here, I'll open it for you guys. Basically, what it does is it comes with one of these little drill tips things, little arrow tells you which way to drill it into your head, right? Um, smart Swab. And uh, a bun bunch of replacement ends cool right right that goes in and you know yeah you, you, you go the, the way the arrow tells you right okay and then we have this so I I have made sure to not uh, clean my ears in a little bit so my hope is that there's some gunk in there or not I don't know um, so what I'm gonna do is this one here gets gets left ear this one gets right ear okay and then what I'm going to do is, once this one figures that this one's clean, I'm going to take this one, or one of the Q-tips, into that ear to see if it gets anything else. And I'm going to do the same with this. So I'm going to do this one with the Q-tip, and then take this one after, and see if it gets anything. Because, you know, if one is better, then that's what we should be using. So we're going to do that right now. I've got my table filled up here with some Q-tips. Um, I've got a little bowl of water because it's warm, so I like to wet the Q-tip, of course, to get it in there. Uh, I got this, I got some paper towels, and we're gonna give this a try. So, um, uh, this this could be uh, this could be somewhat disgusting. I really don't know. So, let's try it. So, first off, we're gonna do this guy. Um, kinda nice, little nozzly guy. I'm gonna put it in the, into the hot water here. You guys can't see that, but that's what it is, a little hot water. Okay, just to clean it. And uh, one of these, just to Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, and then so this is telling me this way. So, ready? I don't know, it's kind of a weird, it's a weird, weird sensation. It feel, and it feels like it's grabbing something. I guess, and again, the key is that it's, you don't want to push hard, right? Just kind of drill it in there so it has a chance to push stuff out. Okay, well, it's definitely got stuff, so that's good. I don't do you want, yeah, okay. So, you can hopefully you can see some there's, there's some stuff on there, right? So, okay, so I'm gonna wash that off a little bit, okay? That's good, and it, it let's be honest, it feels a little weird, okay? I'm gonna clean that, okay? Make sure all that is off, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it round two, okay? Round two again. Just gotta get it in there. Because I, I want it to get to the point where it doesn't have anything. Again, not pushing hard. A weird feeling, I have to admit. That's a little strange. Okay. Okay. And uh, a little bit more. A little bit on the on the tip there. Okay. Okay, get that off. Good. And I think you, I don't know, it's just. All right, so nothing on that one now, okay? All right, so nothing, so we're gonna take that. Now we're gonna do Q-tip. This is this is what it's competing against, Q-tip. And I'm gonna, I always put that in a little bit of warm water. And again, I'm not gonna jam that in there, okay? I'm just gonna kinda do the classic Q-tip goodness. Where I, yeah, definitely, definitely gunk on that one. Okay, flip that around, do the other side. Okay, little tap in the water, tap tappy. Right, get that in there. 
Okay. Okay. Almost all gone. Okay, put that back down there. Grab another one. Get a little bit of water dripping in my ears. That's okay. I got, got a little bit too much water in it. Just a little bit of water. Okay, and... See, one thing I like about the Q-tip is that not only can I do just a little bit of the ear, but, you know, you can do all the parts of the ear, right? You can get kind of up in here, and, which you probably still would with the other one, but... And I'm not cramming this in there. All right, that's, that's you know, just do one little one, just to make sure. Right? Nothing more on that. That's pretty white. Okay. All right. So, this has been done with this guy. This has been done with this guy. So, we're going to switch. Okay. So, key is, we're going to run this again. Now, this one, I have to spin this way. This one feels weird. I have to say. I don't know. It does feel weird. You just kind of, it's got to kind of get a little bit of a tickle. Yeah. Huh. So it definitely, I think, got in a little deeper. I don't know if you guys can see. There's this a little bit on the end there, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's definitely a little bit there. So, okay, I'm going to wipe that off. Okay, got a little bit. Got a little bit in there. Make sure. All right, put it in there. Oh, it's getting a little bit more, actually. All right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm... I'm a little surprised. Again, the key is kind of figuring out how to get it in there. And then looking blankly into space while you're doing it. Because it feels weird. I'll give it... I still know a little bit more. Huh. It's just getting kind of the... the that just sounds funny to say. It's the tip, right? It's in there. Just a blank look. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Clean. All right, so Q-tip got majority. This got more, but it got more right in the tip, and I think it's because, of course, the Q-tip I don't push in very far because I, I don't want to hurt, and this kind of tells me how far I can, which is kind of good, I guess. All right, so Q-tip, other side. I'm going to give my little bit of water here, and let's just see. It's got a little bit of color on it, but no major buildups, which is kind of nice, actually. Um, and it's, you know, just, I think it's just because I'm doing a round. Oh, no, we, we got some there. Okay, so, I'm going to do it one more on this side. Okay, get the water out. Can do a little bit of a clean in here. All right, just going to get it in there. Yeah, that's pretty clean. Oh no, so you got some, it's got some too. So, all right, so I don't want to necessarily show you. So I used three Q-tips in total, right? Top, top, bottom, right? And it's from disgusting to pretty much empty. And I used my little nozzly tip. This feels weird. Yeah, I get... All right. So when I use this by itself, did I get most of it? Yeah, for sure. Um, did the Q-tip end up getting some more? Yeah, it did. It got a little bit. And I think it's because of Q-tip, you just can go around the outsides a bit more, right? To get into the other areas of your ear. Um, on this one, I used a Q-tip first, and it came out with most. But then this was able, I found, to get stuff that maybe was a little deeper that I didn't really want to push the Q-tip in too far. Because that's one of the biggest concerns. Um, and this was able to reach it and pull, kind of pull it out. So... I don't know, I don't think, well maybe, I, if I had to choose one, I guess this, I have it, so of course I'm going to use it. Um, I think you kind of want to use the two together, or or at least something else that when you're cleaning your ears can get in and around, that you can kind of move it into the spots to get the stuff that's not really gunky, but really, really there. So this got the really gunky stuff, for sure. This got the the stuff that's maybe just new and smooth and kind of been just attached to your ear so i kind of think you need to use both really um does it work yeah it was good feels awkward a little weird but good comes with you know like i said it comes with a fair bunch of little swab things and uh yeah it's it's kind of cool so there you go guys um 
Smart Swab versus Q-Tip. Um, I don't think one completely replaces the other, but I think they work really well together. So, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Do all the good stuff. Oh, dropped it. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one, folks.